Okay. Well, how much? Mm-hmm. How much? $2,000 a month. For real? Yes. <laughs> well, shit, where do I sign? Seriously? Yeah, shit, I'll take that all day long. Okay, sisters fans, now we're talking about Heather, her son Michael, and of course, Zach's son as well. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let me put it this way. Am I glad the whole child support thing with Heather is taken care of? Yes. But the resolution just felt a bit too lazy for my taste. I feel like it didn't paint Heather in a good light. Obviously, the first red flag of Heather was when she said that she had been drinking a little bit when she was driving and, you know, met up with Zach the night before, you know, she went over to see Karen in the uh, salon. But to be so ecstatic over $2,000 a month, I mean, how do you go from recognizing Zach having nice cars, nice house, obviously a lot of money, and wanting to take up to half of what he has to just saying $2,000, oh, sold, essentially. That made no sense to me whatsoever. See, it would have been different if, let's say, if Hayden dropped her, she tried to get a couple other different lawyers and they, you know, either dropped her or failed as well to get, uh, get the money she wanted. And then the $2,000 would sound good compared to like little to nothing. But yeah, it just felt like lazy writing on Tyler's part to just have Heather all of a sudden go from, you know what, I'm taking him for everything. I, I'm I'm coming for that ass. I think that's what she told Karen. She went from, I'm coming for that ass to $2,000. <laughs> yeah, okay, deal. This ain't deal or no deal. Like I said, if she would have like, you know, kept opening cases, literally and metaphorically, you know, on deal or no deal, they would open the cases to see the amounts and take them off the board. But in this situation... You know, Heather would try to, you know, uh, file cases for child support against Zach with multiple lawyers and Heather, I mean, excuse me, Fatima probably would have shot it down left and right. And then she would have no choice but to, you know, take the little bit of money she's offered or go home with damn near nothing. So, yeah, it just felt really lazy for Heather to just be all excited about 2000 a month. But it, I guess it goes back to what um so, uh, Fatima told her in regards to, have you even talked with Zach as opposed to just trying to come at him to get as much money as you can? I honestly wish that they could have had a more, just a deeper conversation. You know, the fact that, hey, look, the DNA tests show that, you know, your kid is our child. And I honestly didn't know. So... You know, instead of trying to go through a legal battle, which could get really messy, how about we discuss some terms and see if we can work things out to, you know, avoid all these crazy attorney fees and at the same time come to a quick resolution so we can, you know, raise this child. But instead, you know, look, I'm prepared to offer you $2,000, which is kind of weird when you think about it because he prepared to offer Karen $3,000. But that's a situation where you don't even know who the child is. But then for a person who you found out via DNA test that it is your child, you're only offering $2,000 a month? I'm just It seems a bit off to me. But um, on top of that, he wants weekend, you know, he wants to see his son every weekend, but Heather's like, oh, you can see him every day of the year for $2,000. And it's like, I didn't like that. I mean, I know Heather's not a great person, but I honestly felt a bit, you know, intrigued with the character when instead of being over the top, when Fatima calmly explained to her, why don't you just talk with Zach over at the house? I'll be there too. But you two talk about things. And see if you can work something out. And then Heather was coming around. But then to just have her go, $2,000, ha ha! That's, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. Personally speaking, I still say they should go through the proper channels that, you know, don't involve swabbing or taking a child's DNA without the mother knowing. I think they should go through the proper legal channels, get a DNA test, just to make sure. Because... Test could be wrong. I would say 
hey, $2,000 a month, okay, let's agree to that. But I think the terms of that contract should have been a DNA test. That is just my opinion. Because it reminds me of um, Coming to America, the sequel that came out a couple years ago, where, um, I, was it Joaquin, Joaquin? Well, I forgot Eddie Murphy's character. I have not thought about this movie in forever. But he literally goes back to New York, right, to find his son, and the thing is, they never did a DNA test to prove that was really his son. And that really got on my nerves, especially the fact that when you think about the circumstances of how this alleged son was conceived, technically, the uh, Leslie Jones's character took advantage of Eddie Murphy's character when he was, you know, not fully there because of um second hand high from smoke so yeah we don't talk about that nobody it was weird but yeah they really should have got a dna test same thing with mama mia where the three guys all agree to be one third father instead of taking a damn test to determine who the real father was i think that there should have been a legit dna test clause or you know requirement in that contract hey let's go get a test taken just to make sure the results show on the father, you'll get the $2,000 quick, fast, and in a hurry. So that's just my thoughts. I think this storyline was kind of lazily, you know, thrown together. But I do like the fact that Zach said, you know, weekend. So that would explain why Little Dude might not be in every single episode of Sisters and or as a team up. Because it's weekend visitations, which uh, is cool. But of course, we do know that at some point, Zach will see how he's living and probably take full support. So, I mean, you know full custody but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one